Oi, lads. Uh, this one slid a bit under the radar, didn't it? The T-64B. I absolutely love the T-64. The only reason I haven't talked about this yet is I was currently at- Well, I'm not currently at work. I was at work when this was, you know, released. And then I figured after, you know, people would have already talked about it. But no one's really talked about it, so... Your boy Slicks here. I absolutely adore the T-64. The T-64A is hands down one of my favorite tanks in the game, one of the most enjoyable experiences. What's the difference between the T-64A and the B? Play some Jeopardy music, I'll wait. A lot, surprisingly enough. Now, the T-64, we know, can fire ATGMs. Not the A version, but the B version. As soon as the A version switched over to the B version, I'm sure that's what they did. Probably overnight, they were just like, you will become B now. Not, not really, but the next iteration of the T-64 was able to fire ATGMs out of its smoothbore 125mm cannon. So, fun fact, T-64B gets to shoot ATGMs out of its 125mm smoothbore cannon. Now, these are called the Cobra ATGMs. Very interesting. I'm super excited to be using them. Another thing that is different on this T-64 is it has side skirts. Look at them. They're great. There's no flap flippy flappies. It's side skirts. Along with the side skirts, you get a top-mounted machine gun for shooting down planes that decide to fly close to your Russian bias. And then on top of that gun on top, you get a little bit better armor on the upper front plate, possibly the front of the turret and the entire turret. I'm not sure about the turret, but I know for a fact that they changed some of the armor on the upper front plate from the A version, creating a more effective upper front plate. Along with a more effective upper front plate, co or not coaxial, top mounted machine gun for shooting down planes and side skirts and ATGMs, you also get a smoke dispenser on the back of the turret. That's what that contraption is, looking like some Willy Wonka snorkel ATGM rucksack type shit on the back of the turret, is part smoke uh, dispenser along with the snorkel and everything else. So I am super excited to see the T-64B in action. As we can see, it has a log. It's got the log. It's got everything you want. It is a great looking tank. And what I said about the Abrams is not true with this tank. I said that I like tanks when they look like they have a lot on them. They look like they're being used and I thought the Abrams looked a little bit bare bones. This has a rug sack on it, a bunch of little ammo boxes, a little pouches, a thermal sleeve, which makes the tank look better overall. And oh, I'm just so excited. The attention to detail on all of these new tanks is great, but especially this T-64B, it looks like it is just going to be a powerhouse on the battlefield. Now, of course, the APD, APFSDS might get a buff with this tank as well. Uh, interestingly enough, when Russia developed its tank, it started to develop better ammunition, and the round we have in game right now is underpenning and underperforming. In real life, I believe it was a practice shell. I could be completely wrong, but some of the shells that they were firing out of these uh, cannons could up pen upwards of 440 millimeters of armor. So if we could see an upgraded APFSDS round along with some ATGMs and possibly a T64 BV in the future, I'm not sure about that, which would be this tank just covered with ERA bricks. We'll have to see, but I'm definitely excited for the T-64B. It's definitely gonna be a top contender. I think even the normal T-64 would be a great contender right now uh, for some of these new tanks being added. I know some people might wanna shoot me for saying that, but I'm serious. Um, and this one will be no doubt a fantastic tank. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want a T-64 BV? Do you hate T-64s? Do you hate Russian bias? I'm curious, I wanna know. So let me know in the comments. You go down there, you type type some stuff, I'll read it, I'll be like, wow, and then I'll click the like button. I'm usually on my on my second account because I'm on my phone checking comments, so if you ever see my second account answer, that's why. Just think about that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. I was a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the tray deuce and the deuce deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my knapsack, lounging black, smoking sacks up and axe and sidekicks with my sidekicks, rocking fly kicks.